Hello, everyone. Welcome to GT Time. I'm your moderator, Kyle Bossman, and joining us, as always, is our uniquely talented and knowledgeable panel, <laughs> including Brandon Jones. Hello. Babyface Daniel Bloodworth. Yeah. And uh, Michael D- Sheriff Michael Damiani. Uh, in case cool. you were only listening, Michael Dami has earned a badge from yeah. a bet he made last week. Right? I'm really curious what Brandon's shirt's going to look like on camera. Oh, is that not a good it's, color? It's a mix of purple and green to I've those two it, listeners. I've worn it to... On other shows before. It's I think better. it's cool. It reminds me of Donatello, the Ninja Turtle. Well, I'm never, ever, ever wearing this shirt again. No, I think it's awesome. No, Wait, do you hate Donatello? Hey, what's wrong with Donatello? No, I, no, no, that wasn't a Turtles thing. Uh, I, I missed that. Oh, okay. Donatello. Yeah, I love a, Donatello. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Wouldn't necessarily pick him, you know, in a, in a fighting game or something. <laughs> More of a Michelangelo. He does machine. But, uh, He's got the long reach. Right. Uh, we should explain yeah. why Damiani gets a sheriff star. Oh, yeah, you that was cut out, wasn't it? No, no, no. That actually made it oh, into okay. last week's episode. Uh, we were talking about what Call of Duty Advanced, before we knew what it was. Uh, Advanced Warfare is the name of the game, but we didn't know what it was at that point. But pre-announcement, we are talking about what it could be, and then Damiani explained everything that it was going to be. He said, look at that exoskeleton. You're going to be able to upgrade your jumps, and you're going to be able to climb up walls, and then all of that happened. So you win a star. Charlotte County. It was pretty obvious. It was pretty obvious? Yeah. All right. We had one... At that point, we had one screenshot and one cheek. <laughs> That's all we had going in. And you're like, oh, well, you're going to be able to run fast and jump it's, high. He, he makes pop fiction, man. That's what he does. <laughs> <laughs> he gets to the bottom of it. Great analysis. Detective Damiani. Show me a few pixels of a Zelda screenshot. I will tell you everything. <laughs> a few pixels. Uh, and then Bloodworth. I guess we should talk to anyone who is watching. Uh, what happened to your facial hair? I shaved? Yeah, that's kind oh. of... I feel like that's rare. I feel like it's you had a very like, distinct facial hair. <laughs> what what put you over the edge? What made that happen? And you just get tired of it for a little bit and then <laughs> start over. Probably so not going to keep back. shaving on a regular basis or anything sure, like that. Sure, so you it's just, coming back. You'll see it come back over the next month or two. All right, we'll have a Bloodworth comeback. But you'll be like... You'll be have that baby face for E3 probably. You can't grow a mustache that fast. Hmm? Well, no, that's a month. That's a month from now. <laughs> okay. Well, hopefully you'll have your mustache back in time for E3. Sounds like a bet. Um, <laughs> I'm not betting on Bloodworth's like facial hair. <laughs> but no, that's the, that if he loses the bet, then he's got to grow the beard back. Sure, okay. Uh, just for all of our... I mean, there's no intention it behind it. It's just laziness. I don't know. What, not shaving? Yeah. You got a groom? You seemed like you had a groomed mustache. I mean, trim it once in a while and then shave the whole thing. <laughs> Still laziness. Is that on your sheet there, <laughs> this mustache? Yeah, I did. I had us. We had to talk <laughs> about Bloodworth's facial hair for two minutes, and that has been accomplished. Uh, let's talk about E3. Uh, let's get into our news. Uh, 30 days of E3. Yeah, our 30 days have begun. 28 um, days. We're probably at 27 by the time a person listens to this, or, or 26 or 25. Or maybe they've already watched E3 and are coming back to like listen to us speak. That's what I love about podcasts. You can, have, you can listen at any time. Um, this week, EA announced its E3 plans. Uh, they will have a press conference at uh, noon. Not noon a digital event. Time. Not a digital <laughs> event. An actual press conference in front of a live audience. Um, they're going at noon this year, and they've said that they will show six new games. That are not Need for Speed. Uh, Damiani nodded excitedly after hearing six new games. My question is, is it okay to be excited about an EA press conference? Yeah, you get to see Battlefront. Yes, they have yeah, promised Battlefront. You're going to see that. I'm curious how much wiggle room they consider new games. Well, like Battlefront like stuff counts. that they teased last year is that yeah. count as a new game? Well, yeah, in Battlefront ac- is in one action stuff. Edge. Stuff seeing stuff in action. I think like actual gameplay. Mm-hmm. I feel so. Mirror's Edge yeah. too. I think will count. Even though that trailer was kind of like mock gameplay, I think mm-hmm. you, you probably actually see real gameplay. All right, so that's two. Uh, visceral Star Wars. I don't think we'll see that. But I'll count it. We'll put uh, it. There's been a lot of... They uh, might have yeah. a teaser for it. There was some, yeah, there's some chatter about that, that there would be a Star Wars game there other than a, Battlefront. Even if it's a CG logo or something. Star like Wars that. time. Yeah, maybe a teaser, but we just talked about how Amy Hennig and her best friend, Stashwick, just joined that team. Yeah. Right. They're, well, they, they also have hype. to... Okay, sure. They also have to fall in line with whatever movie's doing, so... And the writers, right? Yeah. Isn't yeah. she a creative yeah, leader? Have she, she, yeah, yeah, she's creative leader. The other guy, Stashwick, came on to write. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, I just don't think any stuff. of them are going to inhibit making a trailer for something. Yeah. Oh, man. I, know. I think you're all insane. So that's three. Yeah. Well, okay. So, actually, Battlefront, they just they just showed, like, an AT-AT right. stomping. 
And then so like there no could be something like that. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. It could. It's uh, something like that at best. I say. Yeah. For the okay. visceral one. Yeah. For the visceral Battlefront, one. we're gonna see real stuff. A, like a on stage demo, probably. We're gonna see stuff. Oh man, can you imagine that? Yes. <laughs> yes. <laughs> Let's see. I'm imagining that for the past decade or so. Yeah. Right, Brent, so that's three. Is it? Is it a bad thing we're all excited about EA games when, when they burn us so bad every time? When, like, Battlefield 4 launches and becomes unplayable on launch, is it so bad to be excited about Battlefront? <laughs> no. He was shaking his head no to anyone who was listening. That was a strong not, shaking his head no. Yeah, it's uh-uh. not Battlefield and it's not Sims. I don't care if it's the same developer. Those, okay. game, those two series are just cursed right now. They're cursed series. Yes. You don't think there will be a ton of people who are crushing those servers trying to play Battlefront immediately on the first day? I will. They will. They'll, they'll, get some, they'll, get some yeah. Dis- they'll get some Disney money to mm-hmm. help with the servers. Okay. They, then you know what? That just helps me. That eases me a little bit. Some Disney's fun money will fix this. I hope so. <laughs> uh, do we want to try to figure out the rest of the games? Yeah. What else do we think there is? We, Dead space. Yeah. I mean, we know there's no need for speed, which is really interesting. Yeah. Well, it's sort of interesting. Why do you say sort of interesting? So every year up until now, there's been a need for speed. Right, but they've been juggling developers, and it hasn't been working. Like, the past few times at Black Box, who were the guys that always did need for speed in the past, Mm -hmm. the past few times they put out a game, it's been like, uh, what are you doing? (laughs) You know? No, be specific. Which one? The is... run with all the freaking oh, yeah. quick time events and walk, and, you know, like actually just... getting out of the car and running around and stuff. Yeah, Need for Speed: The Run had a story that like ran across the country, which I thought was an okay idea, but then just creepy characters. The way they just looked was weird. Mm-hmm. Did you play through the whole game? Yeah, it's like a three-hour game. <laughs> <laughs> And it was, it was like no good. It was honestly just like straight up. I mean, up, actually like, it was fine, but yeah. it, it, you know, that stuff kind of took away from it. And then, uh, you know, there wasn't a whole lot to do once you were done other than to like try to run it faster or whatever. It, it felt, it felt weird. So this decision to take Need for Speed off for a year, you think came out of, oh, nothing is working right now. Well, I, I think it's just like. Let's keep it with the guys who are doing it well rather than, you know, swapping between developers every year. So uh, they don't – and, you know, right now if if they don't have any kind of confidence in Black Box, whatever they're doing, or if they're on something else, uh, then, yeah, who are they going to give it to? Because Criterion they can't do one every doesn't year. exist anymore, really. Yeah. I mean, there's a handful of people there. Yeah, most of them went to Ghost Games to work on Need for Speed, uh, and they put out their game last year. And now they, you know, they're on docket for next year. But slightly mad's doing Project Cars. So Need for Speed, you, you think know. is going to be every other year now? Um, I don't know that it necessarily will be, but you know, I think it's good. I'm always it's, encouraged. Uh, it's it's better to be. You know, take a year off then to do what they were doing a while back where they were putting out like three or four games in the same year. Exactly. No, it's a good thing they're taking a year off. Damiani, you wanted to say something. Mass Effect. Oh, obviously. You're yeah. right. Okay, Mass Effect's one of those four, for sure. Yes. The teaser. Yep. Yeah. I don't know. I think it's going to be better than a teaser. Mm. Oh, and now you guys aren't doing... You, you think they'll do it? You think they're going to show more of visceral Star Wars than they're going to show of Mass Effect, which has been in production show for like years? A CG teaser are you trailer. insane? They've yeah, been they working are. on the game. Oh my gosh! No, they're going to set you up because I mean, <laughs> Mass Effect is going to have to be something almost entirely different now. So they're going to set you up with some kind of sweeping shot of you know some ships or some some aliens or some familiar species, and then you'll see like the silhouette of the main character. No way. Everyone, it's going to be a blowout. They're going to show, this is what we're showing for this game. That's my guess. Anyway, I think that's a good number four. They're obviously going to show Mass Effect. What other things do they have? Do we count Dragon Age? Oh, Did that, that was... we already count Dead Space in that? I don't think they're going to show Dead Space. I think it's insane. I mean, Dragon Age is known, though. Yeah, I know, but so but is why Battle would they from... not show Dead Space? They uh, still have that left open for whatever weirdness they're going to do. Oh, crisis. I, is there any team working on it, though? Next Gen Crisis. Next Gen Crisis. I think that's a good guess. I I don't think we'll see Dead Space this year or for a long time. Uh, what else? Brandon, do, do you think, think we'll see Dead Space? No. To me, I think the way that Dead Space Three like kind of tinkered things, 
Like it's, these are all like ended trilogies. It's interesting. It's yeah. like Dead Space like was a start trilogy. The new trilogy. Yeah. Mass Effect was a trilogy. Yeah. So they're all. It's kind of like where Halo's at, where they're like, uh, let's just call it Halo for now. And you're like, well, is it Halo Five or is it what are you know? <laughs> I think um, I think Crytek may actually have a, a new game rather than Crisis. Cool. Sure. Please. I think it's something from the possible. Sims team. But maybe oh, not Sim no. City, but not Sim City. Oh, no, I mean they already have casual. Sims 4. You're diminishing Honey, my hype. You're getting a casual game. You're ruining my hype. I you're had getting hype. that mobile game. Why would you do this? One of the six. I it was wasn't so excited pla- for Plants vs. Zombies to... last year. That was a cool surprise. So, so yeah, like I mean, there's going to be surprises. They could do something. There's going to be one or two games that we're just not going to see coming. Brandon, you ended up liking Plants vs. Zombies: Garden Warfare, right? Yeah, that was fun. Oh. Were you excited for it during its press conference last year? I was mostly amused by it. I don't know if I was necessarily excited for it uh-huh. because you never know what games are going to be out when with what games. Mm-hmm. So it's like one of those games where I'm like, oh yeah, I could totally put time into that unless. You know, something super exciting comes out the same week, and then no, that'll. That's a really funny point. That won't yeah, be yeah, a game yeah. I will like push to the forefront. But, uh, but it I came out up, in a good time where there was. Yeah, like, I ended up uh, reviewing it, and uh, uh, yeah, I definitely enjoyed it. And it was fun to see gameplay. We were kind of mentioning, like, you know, what if we see a new Mass Effect? You know, will we see gameplay from it, or if we see what they do with Star Wars? And uh, they like, uh, you know, demoed it almost immediately after announcing it, and so. It was fun to you know to get a look at that game. Yeah, such a weird concept, and I, I love the trailer. I love the the take on Battlefield. Uh, always good to make fun of Battlefield. <laughs> Interesting <laughs> for them to make fun of Battlefield. Yeah, it was. Yeah, and I almost thought it was Battlefield at first, and then I was like, oh, they're making fun of themselves. Yeah, it was cool. Is it too soon? They're not going to show anything off. But is it too soon for them to even bring up the n- name Titanfall Two? No, it's not too soon. Do you think they'll make this have like a like just the logo with the two and be like? Tootenfall? Titanfall 2. Tootenfall. Next year Tootenfall. or something. <laughs> yeah, Do you actually, think they just discuss no. Titanfall 1 and say, like, it were, they're, we're looking into ways to, like, bring you the next one? Or do you think they actually say, oh, Titanfall 2 coming? We, yeah, we, I we honestly think kind of all but confirmed it, but we're just going to show you a logo, like, yeah, it's coming. Uh, with the press release they had this week about Titanfall 1 sales, they did say we're making more Titanfalls. Yeah. And so I think at E3 they'll at least show a logo. A name. Yep. Give us a name. Titanfall. It's hilarious. It sounds Titan German Falls. to me. Is it Titanfall? What's it? Titan, Titan Falls? Falls? Like aliens. Titanfall. Yes. Yeah. Um, Titanfalls. So before we move on from EA, okay. you know I love to read into things. Okay. Last year, EA went up at 1 p.m. Pacific okay. time. This year, noon. Why would they go an hour earlier? Because one of the EA execs has a, a lunch reservation. <laughs> sure, I bet, it is something, uh, I bet it's something that stupid. I know it probably is. Maybe they're trying to get uh, everything. Who's at nine thirty again? Uh, Microsoft is at nine thirty. Yeah. Uh, so... UV, I think, is probably going to be three. And so Sony, we don't know what time. Yeah, but most Evening. likely, if it's the same thing as last year, it's like seven or eight. Well, maybe that's maybe that's it though. Is that everyone's going to shift earlier so that Sony is not in stupid prime time land? Nobody else is shifting earlier though. Everyone is sticking to their same time. It's Give me more time what do you in mean? between we them. We haven't heard the UB or Sony times. Uh, Sony, yeah, hasn't announced yet, but I like they're gonna do nighttime again. I think they like that. And they're you... they're not in they're not at seven or eight because they have to be. Like they could have done five o'clock, but they're just like, no, let's just go and, later. And Microsoft and EAs are gonna be across from each other. Or I think everyone's real close. They're making yeah. everyone be close. So maybe yeah. there's yeah. Maybe, that's what I'm saying. Yeah, like, maybe maybe they're, maybe they're trying to bring together. Sony earlier. But I don't know if that's going to happen. It could also just be they want to get more time in between them because just the amount of complaints they've probably gotten every year. It's like, all right, come on, can you give us like just a little bit more time in between? So you think the press it's like a logistics of just the bodies? They probably just want it's people probably get around. It's, yeah. yeah, it's for physical people getting around. But they probably also realize like, hey, we should give the press some time to actually write some stuff up. So let's all mutually agree to give each other maybe like an extra thirty minutes or an hour. Or so, but they're getting less time between the two conferences. Between the first two, yeah. well, they're oh. getting more time between EA and UB, but less time after Microsoft. They're kind of creeping in on we know, Microsoft. Know the times for UB and. So, like you keep saying they're getting less time or whatever. You don't know. Kyle what the time has is. inside information. <laughs> About Ubisoft. I take a quiet sip and I pretend to say nothing at all. <laughs> so two um, o'clock UB and four o'clock Sony. I don't know. I don't know any of that. Okay, but uh, let's move on. <laughs> let's talk about uh, uh, Microsoft. Also announced. They we just spoke about it. They're, they're going at nine thirty. Um, I guess the most unusual thing, because nine thirty is what they always did last year, and I think the year before that even. Um, the name of the press conference is Xbox Game On. Is that like turn the game on on the Xbox One? 
If you if you say that, so in your if they room, say that during like, the stream while you're watching an Xbox One, will it turn on your game? I've honestly I've seen comments where people say you turn on my Xbox when, from Final Boss Man. Yeah, like I, I think you can totally like f around yeah. with it. Yeah, no, that definitely happened during one of their press conferences, or like it, because they're like, oh, you can. I think it was the first one you could stream through Xbox Live, mm-hmm. and then like shut people's Xboxes <laughs> off because they I had their that. connects on. They Oops, have to be careful I like about that. that. Yeah. They're gonna open up your your marketplace and be like. Let's purchase this movie right here, mm-hmm. yeah. and let's see how it looks. And everyone just bought, I don't know, How to Train Your Dragon 2. But what I like about <laughs> Xbox Game On, games in the title. Clearly, as they're saying they're going to talk about games. They've been promising games, games, games. Yep. This seems like another step toward, hey, this is going to be about games. Yeah. Do you believe it, Blood? Um, I think they're going to spend a lot of time showing off their movies. Wait, you do? Yeah. Why? It's called Xbox Game On. Why well, would they show movies? Why are they making movies? <laughs> and TV shows, right? And all yeah. that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. The Halo show. Quantum Break is, or is that what mm-hmm. it's called, right? Yeah. Mm-hmm. Um, yeah, I mean, that's like half of a TV show while you're playing the game, so. Yeah. No, don't. So even when they're showing a game, they're going to be showing a TV mm-hmm. show. No, they need to keep that out. It's called Xbox Game <laughs> On. They can't. They can't show they're a game related show. show. That stuff. They're going to show that Halo <laughs> thing somehow. It's a game related show. That's yeah. how they get around it. Uh huh. I mean, that Halo show may be integrated in the next Halo game or so, whatever. So what? So, game on. I yeah. want to know about the games. So all I know is, is Halo. Yeah. Forza Horizon. And Forza. Yeah. And Sunset Overdrive. And Sunset Overdrive. Yeah. But what, what's the Quantum stuff we break. don't... What, what, what studios are going to be giving us games that we don't know about? They Gears say, of War is going to be there. So, Epic. Yep. Oh, wait. Nope. No, no. I'm dumb. This, yeah, Turtle Rock. Uh, see? You, so yeah, I don't know. My head. Gears of War yeah. is another one that's probably too, a little too early to show like yeah, actual substantial game stuff. But yeah, probably uh, some announcement. Anything for Fable? Uh, yeah, they've announced a Fable game. That's right. Yeah, I don't know why. Uh, it's it's like a weird like co op four player Fable game. I think Killer Instinct season two. Sure. Oh yeah, that's a weird. This got what, what Iron Galaxy? Mm-hmm. Yeah, they're doing it yeah, yeah, now. Yeah. They pick. They got tasked to finish that. They're finally gonna get combo in the game. They gotta get the rest of the cast. Combo, I really liked for some reason in a CJ game. Combo, yeah, yeah. In a game full of like creepy little like like little monsters, I liked just being a, a dude who has like striped shorts and boxing gloves. It's like, hey, they have weapons, they have swords, and he's just like, I'm gonna find. I liked that guy. He was a cool character. Um, uh, they're still promising. Phil's still talking about uh, some Japanese developed exclusive that he's hyped on. D four. It's not D4. I really don't think it's D4. <laughs> I don't think he'd be that hyped about D4. But, uh, yeah, there'll be announcements. There'll be games uh, at this Microsoft press conference. And it's like, Brandon, what? They had what? a lot of games last year. Yeah, they, they did. a ton of games last year. I was very surprised. Because I remember going into it, that was the one thing I kept saying over and over and over again. It's like, they need to just get in there with the games. And they lost hard. And I thought they didn't really have a terrible press conference. World of Tanks was kind of a strange thing to lead with. <laughs> That's what they tanks. started with. Well, they I forgot were, about I that. They were to, I think they were trying to, uh, you know, Man. work in the same way with, with Minecraft, right? Because, yeah. you know, Minecraft was so successful for the Xbox, even yeah, though and you didn't just like, think it was, you know, going to be. Right, you but can't Microsoft, replicate yeah, Minecraft. But, yeah. but Minecraft's not like a press conference But World of Tanks thing. is a hugely popular thing around the world, you, yeah. know, you know, so bringing it to Xbox, you know, they, I'm sure that they were thinking it was going to have similar results. Yeah, well, I think actually what they were doing is they had, they wanted to get their 360 games out of the way first, mm-hmm. and then just, just from then on only talk about Xbox. Speaking games. of which, do you think there's going to be any 360 games? That's a very good question, yeah. And I think the answer is no. No. Yeah. Damiani, where do you stand on it? I think like they can't talk about you know, the 360. They, I mean, they'll probably do what they do, like Sony does with the PS3 like, last year. They do like a sizzle reel or whatever, where they show, here's the lineup that you can expect for your PS3, but it'll be Xbox 360. It'll be like, what, Borderland, Tales from, what the heck's the new Borderlands Pretty called? Cool. Yeah. That Tales one from the Borderlands is, is the, the Telltale game. The Telltale one. Uh, they'll have that. They'll have... Call of Duty. Yeah. Even though that's being developed, we haven't been told who the studio is doing the current or the last gen ports, right? We right. just know that their Sledgehammer is doing the the proper one right now. What they call it, like next gen first or something. Yeah, like that. yeah. I'm trying uh, to think what other like 360 only or PS3 360 only games are announced. Only Assassin's Creed Comet. If if that that's, counts. No, it, what, <laughs> Not announced, that's but a yeah. Game, yeah, yeah. Or, wasn't someone just like I thought I read somewhere someone saying that was BS or something. Assassin's Creed comic. That they're is not BS? two of them. That there's only one. Oh, that this no. two of them is nonsense. I was like, I don't know. I, th- I 
think they are making two of them. But we got so excited about Comet. I hope it is well, called I, Comet. I think two of them is like a, a a paper kind of thing. Like someone was being like, you know, like, well, these games. Well, if you really think about it, I mean, <laughs> we had two totally different teams working on it, and like, there's that one character. Those are two different games. Like, it's. I, I think it's gonna be one of those things. And then that. Well, we're going to be yeah. thinking later, like, the announcement's going to happen, we're going to be really excited, and then, like, five minutes later, we're going to be like, wait, weren't, weren't those oh, supposed man. to be two different games? And it's uh, like, oh, I see what they did. They'll, it's sell, just the, they'll sell poorly. Uh, you know, I mean, well, I mean, even, like, Liberation was, like, kind of another game. That was the one on PSP, right? Yeah. That they, oh, it was, they, like, the same map, the same yeah. the same costumes, the same asset. You know, they just, like, put in a new different character and a couple stories and stuff, but it'll be, you know, same time period. Same. Wasn't it Vita, though? Yeah. Yeah, but I mean the it was portable. Yeah. It yeah, wasn't yeah, like yeah. a whole, it wasn't like now you're in Japan. You're like, "Whoa, I got to play that." No, yeah, I can, you, you can know, use a lot of the ra- same assets. It's like stuff, people yeah. were so sick of 3, you yeah. know, there was like it was kind of tough to get excited for just like same kind of area, just different story yeah. a little bit. So, so you'll be happy if there's no comet. I don't need a comet. No, I'm not yeah. No. It's <laughs> like well, it was like uh, Arkham Knight, you know, it's like it's only current gen. Yay. Yeah. You know, I I don't um yeah, as a maybe as a consumer or a stockholder, it's like, well, it's nice to see that they're still supporting the 360. But as a gamer, it's not like I, there's nothing you could do on the old gen that would get me excited more than the neck, more the current gen. Can thing. we can we say seventh gen and eighth gen on the no, show? No. no. Oh damn it. Okay. So only then, only that. me then. I'm gonna remember that. It bums me out to say old gen. Like, oh yeah, man, that thing gen. was so cool. Like, Geriatric gen. <laughs> oh my god. Uh, give another <laughs> give another year. You'll be saying last gen. No last problem. gen. Yeah. How many, how many definitive editions are we going to see? Ooh. Oh, great question. Halo's a for sure. Yeah. yeah. Halo 2? Or... Yeah. yeah. Um, oh, there's some Twitter buzz. Last of Us, right? That's going to be a Tony. Oh, for sure. Uh, there's Twitter buzz about God of War Ascension uh, next-gen version. How funny is that? They just put out the 1 and 2 on Vita. I know. So, yeah. like, do we, why get, go to do we get GTA 5 definitive edition? Or is that, does that no, one, no one will care about that? Not E3. Point? Rockstar doesn't care about E3. They don't care. Right. Yeah, yeah. that's not going to happen. Uh, besides E3, do you think we'll ever get that? That was like always rumored that GTA 5 is coming to PC, coming mm-hmm. next. Year. Do you think it matters at this point? I think it's too long past that. Like, no, we don't need to play GTA 5 they, again. I, I get the I get the feeling that they mm-hmm. want to do it. Like, I don't think they're like generally opposed to it. It just seems like Rockstar is kind of taking their time with that. We still don't have heists in GTA Online and. <laughs> That hasn't you know, happened yet, huh? Uh, and it's wow. just been months, you know, since that game came out. And it doesn't mean I'm not going to be excited when it happens. It's just they're taking their time. They're just like dollars. Yeah. Dollar. Yeah, <laughs> I mean, GTA 4 had a pretty long tail on the DLC and stuff, too. Yeah, there's just like, there's honestly, though, there's not a lot of precedent for that. Like, I think PC will happen, but there's not a lot of like, I mean, Bully went to Xbox 360. Yeah. And I think that might be the only time Rockstar has done that. Well, you, br- you made me think of, you gave me an idea when you mentioned expansions. You come out with one or two expansions, and then you come out with the current gen with all the expansions, all included. Sure. You yeah, know, yeah, to- yeah. Actually, they have yet to announce their first deal, story DLC for GTA V. Right. So I don't think next gen's coming soon at all. Yeah. Just stuck um, with our boring current gen games. <laughs> current gen, what do we, stop What that. do we think, uh, <laughs> after Wind Waker, do we think Nintendo's going to do another HD Yes, I think that was Super really Mario successful. Mario 64 then. HD with Mario Kart 8 visuals. Absolutely, I'm all in. I'm or, all in. Uh, We're done. We're done. Twi- That's Twilight it. Princess in that style that we saw two years ago or whatever. Yeah, uh, well, that would take a lot more effort, I oh, think. Oh, you mean the demo? Yeah, that demo was in crazy style. Not th- it was none basically none of this should be, none of, none of this should be on it Wii U, just, though. Yeah. What's up? No, this should be on Wii U, though. Oh, we've got to save that conversation for another day. Well, actually, no, this transitions into, <laughs> well, into uh, n- some Nintendo talk. We do have to yeah, cover some Nintendo cool. talk. Last night. Yep, Nintendo. Please uh, understand. Yeah, they've, uh, they're losing money. <laughs> <laughs> Nintendo reported a loss of $457 million. Uh, casual. That's casual? That seems like a lot Nintendo, of money. Nintendo's Wii trust all the is like, oh, 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 oh. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's like, you know. Lots of losses, lots of losses, and then uh, how much does it affect their assets? Not really. Bloodworth, <laughs> e- explain those graphs to the people who have to imagine them, in case I can't. <laughs> well, it's kind of hard for me. Uh, uh, but yeah, they they were showing you know their their profits. Uh, I'm trying to remember exactly what it was: revenues and income or something like that. Yeah, Nintendo is like making no money right now. Yeah, I mean, it was just like they went from like high high income to yes. like then like negative. You know, like the the losses. But then you saw the. The graph of like their their assets over the past five years, and it was just kind of you know, went up and down. Yeah, not really much change. Exactly, four hundred fifty-seven million is like a tiny dent in Nintendo's big Scrooge McDuck pool of money. 
It's like a little bucket. It's like Scrooge McDuck walks in, gets a bucket, and then says, here you go. It just seems real bad. Yeah. And it's actually, they're reacting to it in a strange way. Uh, they announced, finally, their use of the NFC technology, uh, near-field communication, uh, little toys. They didn't actually put a game to it, but they said, here's what we're going to do. There's going to be multiple games. Multiple games. It's going to be available this fall. Available this fall, and you get one little toy, and you can use this across of these multiple games. They stealth showed off the new game. What? What? Did really you good. see the example image where it showed new Super Mario Brothers pix new Super Mario Brothers U uh-huh. pixelated, yep. Super Mario 3D World pixelated, and uh-huh. then a third Mario game no, that's pixelated? No, they already showed that with Nintendo Land. It's no, no, don't ruin it. <laughs> don't ruin it. They wouldn't do that. That's they would. No. <laughs> stealth, uh, stealth I, announcement. I think that this is going to be very much. I think I think Smash Brothers is going to be one of the first ones to use. D- this. Blood, don't the trophy. No. It looks exactly like the Smash would you Brothers. Like, They're toys. Would you Kyle? like the trophy? Would you put it on the portal, please? New new trophies. Transfer your trophies to your friend's house. Oh, and you know what you do when you're playing Smash Brothers Actually, with a friend? That's you just perfect. knock their figure off. <laughs> that's, that's perfect. Though. So like, hey, you haven't unlocked all the characters. Here's my figure. Yeah, we can play with everyone. Oh, yeah, you bring no. it over to your friend's house and you have stuff. Mm-mm, no. Yeah. Alternate like, costume, Mario. Sakurai would say, no, you can't do that in my game. Stop Sakurai doesn't pay the bills. Yeah, he does. Sakurai pays no, the bills. No, come on. <laughs> he does. They, the whole time, the figurines have looked like what this figurine looks like. I uh, mean, it's, it's almost designed off of Smash Bros. Pokemon Alpha and Omega are going to have figures, too. No, All the Pokemon. Stop it. Stop Baby Rosalina. So I think they're making games <laughs> particularly for the purpose to use with these NFC figures. Otherwise, it wouldn't make sense to try to... No, I mean, there's going to be a game that's specifically tied to these, but then it's yep. going to be it's going to be compatible with Smash Brothers for sure, and then some other games down the road as well. All right, Blood, side bet. You said for sure. Yeah. All right, what do you got? Whoever loses has to use the worst control scheme for Smash Brothers for a month in the office. A for a month, month in the office? office. Long time. How about a week? A, a week in the office. Okay, what? fine, a week. Okay. That means a Wii remote. That means a Wii remote. Controls. Controls. Yeah. Only. Yeah, that's great. The loser great. has to use that for a week. That's a sick So when all of us are having that. fun, have a good time, yeah. you have to use a Wii remote. Yep. Do you accept those terms? And waggle controls that they, they exist, like for smashing. They do, they do. it. Like then you can you, use a nunchuck and, yeah. And you're totally doing that. But do you accept these terms? Okay, sure. All right. Side bet made. There's no way. There's no way NFC is going to be in Smash Bros. That's insane to me. What other game are they launching this fall? That's uh, going to use them. Oh, several. I mean, the, we don't know what they are. They're going to announce those games. Okay. And then it's just, that's going to de- demonstrate them using it across multiple games. Yeah, it will. They, okay. will. they will announce several games that will use these little NFC guys. Brandon, you seem to support like uh disney infinity and like these sorts of things the most uh do you think do you think this will work for nintendo uh i think there is a major point of uh information that we are missing which is how do they work like you okay you have mario and mario is a figure and then i put mario in the base and then the figure appears in the game what else because if that's it if it's just like oh and then you play then that's a fail because that's infinity was like that's not gonna be enough and so they came out with this whole customization you know mode called the toy box which Skylanders doesn't have. And so, yeah. like, Skylanders keeps, you know, challenging Infinity by, you know, now they're doing trap teams. So it's like, now we have this new mechanic and, you know, the kids are going to buy even more stuff. And it, it legitimately plays differently than the other games have. And Infinity's like, well, now we're going to have skill trees and all this stuff. So you can see them advancing uh, their, you know, the modes and the technology behind their systems. But if Nintendo's just like, that's it. It's literally just figures. And you can... Having multiple games sounds kind of interesting, but, I mean, I didn't like Infinity when I first heard about it because I didn't know, I didn't have all the information. I didn't know what they were doing. Yeah. So there's got to be some other twist. Yeah, yeah, yeah. To E3. that. So they reveal it at E3. Yeah, yeah, they'll reveal it at E3. But I am I am scared of, of Brandon's fear here that it's just like, yeah, I knew you have Mario in the game. Get it? And it's like, no, you don't get it. You don't get why those other games were successful. Uh, in Skylanders, you learn moves as your character, like, levels up, too. So it's not like you can just buy this one from the store and this one that you've had and they're the same one. This one is your Skylander, and I yeah. think that's significant. Well, I mean, that's what, yeah, they were talking about that, too, with the, the Mario example. Like, I'll be able to level up my Mario? Yeah, like, it would be personalized to you based on your experiences with all these different games. Wow. Is he just going to have a hat, or is he going to be leveled up? <laughs> I don't know exactly what that means. By right. playing other games, you level up your figure, then there'll be a game in the future that uses that figure. Like, the way Infinity or something None of does. that sounds good. None well, of that yeah, sounds my, like... It makes all the Nintendo fans buy all the games. Because Club <laughs> Nintendo points aren't enough anymore. <laughs> yeah. Getting that Luigi statue, it's not, that's not enough. you got to get... We're not selling enough we use here. 
Yeah, I mean, part of uh, Nintendo's financials that were interesting to me is how much money they're making digitally now with downloads. Yeah, they said that they're going to keep leveraging that and moving in that direction. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And I, I, I think really that... Access. What's up? The early access to no, they're not. No, they're never going to do early they access. They get one-week HD, like a week early for digital. Oh, okay, that doesn't count as early access. I meant, sorry, I meant you get fans or consumers get early access to the final game yep. if they get the digital version. Yeah, and I, I bid on that. That was like the first game I downloaded on Wii U and ever since I've been doing it. Like DK I downloaded too and like that weird stuff works on me. Sadly. Yeah. Well, I, they, they, they did make it clear that they're not going to abandon ship on the Wii U. Uh, which, I mean, they've kind of been saying. But yeah, that is, you know, for the people that have bought the Wii U that it would really suck. To you know, say it's like, oh, well, we're not going to make games for this anymore, you know, and then they're going to be less likely to buy the next system, so they don't want to, you know, mess up with things with their fans. Um, and then uh, you know, they keep talking about, you know, in the next year they're going to show off what makes the gamepad so great, and I don't, what is that other than these figurines? What is that? <laughs> yeah, I mean, honestly, I'm I'm actually with Damiani on this one. I think the Wii U does not have a long life ahead of it, and I think. Right now, the Wii U is just going to be their little experimental platform where they try things out for the rest of its life. Uh, a weird part of this financials is they're, they're forecasting 3.6 million Wii U's sold for the rest of the year. At this point, Nintendo is basically selling, yeah, we know this thing's not going to sell anymore. They used to do outlandish estimates, and now they're being realistic. Well, even with the, the figurines, they're like, well, we know that this is probably won't be that successful if we only do it on Wii U. So we're going to put out a portal for the 3DS as well. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> But I, one of the things that I think they're they're starting behind a little bit on the figures is with Infinity, you know, it's like, oh, an Incredibles game. Cool. You know, like, I never get to play with the Incredibles. That's really neat that Disney's, like, making a cool, fun thing to have with these characters. Like, Pirates, like, we've got Pirates game before, but, like, out of all the Pirates games I played, I had more fun with the Infinity version. Yeah. Monsters, Inc. It's like, how awful would that game be if they made just a $60 Monsters, Inc. game where it's like... This is kind of fun. I can take Mike Wazowski now and put him in other things. Where if Nintendo's trying to sell me, like, so we got these figures, and you can take Mario and put him in a platforming game. I can play a game with Mario? Yeah, <laughs> yeah I get it. I get well, that. You're like, okay. So again, it's like the game has to be something There crazy. is a weirdness yeah. to where, like, Nintendo doesn't believe they're leveraging their characters enough. They're not. And I don't well, need, I don't they, need a Mario I, They figure. may not be no. in, like, terms of, like, other media. Like, you know, what was it? Like, there's a lot of talk about, you know... Wreck-It Ralph or whatever should have had more Nintendo characters. But in terms of their games, I mean, I think most gamers feel like they're relying on their classic characters too much, you know, and that they should be, you know, spending more time creating new characters. I would love... Like, Pokemon is, like, the only time we see new characters. I would love if all this NFC stuff uses all new characters, because I think it would capture some of that excitement Brandon's talking about. If you have to have a figurine to play Mario in a Mario game... Uh, it feels like something's getting taken away from you because you already have had that. Yeah. If it's this whole new intellectual property where, where it's entirely new characters, I think it could work a lot like better. Like Infinity Bridges, Disney with games. And yep. this is going to bridge Nintendo with games? Sure, exactly. <laughs> <laughs> you don't need to do... They, they, they did it yep. 30 years ago. What and are so you scratching your chin about, Damiano? What's up? Dollar signs. Just put out the figures... People will buy them. I think we've they proven that it's not they that easy. Good. I think it's proven that it's like no, it's, it's not just put out figures and the game works by itself. No, Nintendo fans are will buy anything. We are when it comes to merchandise. We are stupid. There is worth that two hundred dollar gunship on the UK store. Yeah, now that's just crappy first four figures. Don't yeah. support those guys. It is that. It is that actually because they no. sell, they had Ganondorf there too actually. Uh, what was I thinking? The reason I scratched my head because I was getting ideas. Because I know you don't, for every reason, you don't like Pokemon figures. You don't want 100, 600, 700 Pokemon figures made. For some whatever reason, I don't like that reason. idea. Yeah. <laughs> yes. So kids can't carry them around in their pockets. And then, like, I really want to battle and stuff. And then, like, you know, yes. like a kid can get, like, tactile. No, I don't contact. like that. Okay. And they buy so a special like Pokeballs that the figures so, like, fit inside. Fire Emblem, so can... Fire Emblem and Crush and Megami Tensei, they, you get the figures and you have, like, a, a, vert, like a board. And then, like, on the screen, like you could like local multiplayer, you like it's like chess or checkers. You actually move the pieces, see it on the screen as well. Like that's how it records like the battle. But you're actually having like an actual physical like battle with someone like moving like the pieces on the board. But you could like sell like the Fire Emblem characters, which would be awesome. And then like Shin Megami Tensei characters, especially they use Persona characters. Like everyone would want to buy those. You're right. Yeah, people. And then they like, can those. charge a lot of money for those. Yeah. And they just have like a grid, a grid board. It's like plain or whatever. 
But then you look on the screen as you're moving it, kind of like the Sony Eye technology. Like maybe yeah. just have the I don't think pad. that this will work that way. Yeah, because yeah. they're using just the one chip on the Wii U pad is the, what they're stressing so hard. That's for, that's one idea. I'm saying your idea is completely impractical. No, it's not. And, uh, we have no. a lot of other news to go through, and uh, we have to like shoot through it. We got to go real fast. Give me your spitfire opinions on all of these things. Uh, first, we should talk about uh, this Unreal Tournament announcement that occurred Thursday morning. Yeah. Blood, you watched the, the entire announcement. What did you pull away from that? Um, that they want to get people using Unreal development tools, and so <laughs> the way that they're going to do that is they're going to get everybody in modding Unreal Tournament. Unreal Tournament is a free game. The new Unreal Tournament's free game. No microtransactions. Just everyone come play it for free. It also started development during the stream. Yes. So there's nothing to show. <laughs> there's nothing to see about it, yeah. It's all in our imaginations. Yeah. But anyone here at this table could hop in and like make the new gun for the new Unreal Tournament game. Yeah, yeah, that's that's basically what it amounts to. Is it's working sort of similar to Project Cars, where you know they're going to be building the core of the game, and then all of these community people that are you know using the Unreal Four uh, dev kit are you know going to be able to modify and make characters or guns or maps or modes or whatever. And then how does Project Cars monetize? Is it a, a game that costs money? Well, Project money Cars or? was kind of like sort of crowdfunding before Kickstarter. Like uh-huh. people actually bought into that to be at different levels. Got it. Uh, but this is all, you know, I mean, I think you have to, to buy in to like have access to the tools, like a $20 or something like that. But, the, the Unreal thing. Yeah. Yeah, 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 you do. And so like basically that's their hope in putting out this free game that everyone's going to want to get involved, want to develop, and then pay to license their technology could work who it could be awful but uh i think unreal fans are pc savvy people so they're probably used to tools they're probably used to um you know not playing other shooters because they like their pc they like you know mouse and keyboard and so i think that yeah i think it makes sense and it's not uh too big of a franchise for you to think like oh wow they really fell off the map you know by doing this bringing in fans to have to make their game like that's a good point unreal seems like a great franchise to kind of like pick itself up by its bootstraps and be like let's you know let's make headlines let's actually you know uh um, become relevant again that's an uh, excellent by by our community yeah it's like counter-strike it's just one of those games that like i wouldn't be surprised if we like booted up unreal and like wow there's hundreds of people playing this game because people just love that type of frantic uh well i I think to you know Again, it's it's kind of getting that uh, that groundswell of support for for Unreal Engine four because you know Unreal Engine three was huge last gen and pretty much everyone was using it. But now, as we've seen more people, you know, the big studios have moved on to developing their own, their own internal engines. So Epic's got to you know, hustle harder. Yeah, Epic's got to basically you know try to get the the guys that are on the ground floor, the guys that are just starting to get into development and test the waters and, you know, see, you know, you know the next wave of indies, more or less, right? Yeah. That, all uh, be really you know, that have them familiar technology. with their tools instead of something else. Yeah, it's kind of genius. Uh, next story. Uh, Ed Boon is being weird on Twitter this week. Um, Ed Boon, uh, creator of Mortal Kombat, still uh, is, is heavily involved with those games. Uh, he's, he was, like, tweeting, like, really weird math to get us down to the number 26... And then he tweeted the alphabet backwards, but then capitalized particular letters in the alphabet. And with those letters, you can make the words mortal, combat, and injustice. <laughs> it's Mortal Kombat Cross Injustice. Yeah. My question for all of you is could that game possibly be good? Didn't we get that game? <laughs> yeah, we Marvel did. We got, we got Marvel, or, yeah, Mortal Kombat vs. DC already happened. Yeah. And then they were like, no, let's focus on DC. And then now they're like, no, let's... Focus back on this with Mortal Kombat. Yeah, um, those games were cool. Uh, the, <laughs> sure, the, yeah. The, the 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 HD. I wish they were making Mortal Kombat two rather than more DC stuff. I kind of like that they separated it. You know, mm-hmm. like bringing in the DC. I'm a big DC fan, so like bringing in those DC characters was amusing. But it was so much better to rather than like throwing random people like Scorpion, you know, or Sub Zero, people that I like was kind of familiar with, to just all in on DC and then bring in all these crazy characters uh even via uh, via dfc like batgirl and lobo and stuff after it launched yeah like i'm a very hypeable person i can't imagine what a trailer for mortal kombat cross injustice could be where i would say yeah fun because it's already existed like blood what is it what do you possibly what is your wish of this game that it's as good as the last Mortal Kombat? I don't know. And that would make you happy if it's just as good as the last I, no, Mortal Kombat? I mean, Kombat? I don't, yeah, like, I haven't really, I haven't, honestly, I haven't played those last few at all. 
So there's nothing. I haven't really played happened. Injustice yeah. or that Mortal Kombat or Mortal Kombat versus DC. I mean, there's definitely like a sense of weirdness with MK versus DC being like toned down. And yeah, yeah, like, yeah, yeah. It's like and Joker couldn't shoot you really in the head work. anymore. Yeah. yeah, that was weird. Um, I mean, it's, just, it's next gen, you know, Mortal Kombat two. Do it, you know. Why not? Yeah, exactly. Such a huge, awesome announcement, especially because MK two was the game that was. You know, it was so much better than the first one. Mm-hmm. And so I think it's like you carry that stigma of everyone remembering. Like, not stigma, but you remember, you know. Yeah. That, uh, those memories people have about like, oh, MK2. Give us MK2. Back. Don't give us more injustice. Okay. Uh, next is uh, Neversoft merges with Infinity War. skipping Ward. Damiani. Hmm? You open up this one then. I skipped you on the last news story. I, I got skipped on a couple questions. <laughs> <laughs> you didn't say anything about that book. Jeez. <laughs> Go hang out with your friend over here. Not everybody has to come. chime in on every question, but Damiani, tell me what it means to you that Neversoft is joined with Infinity Ward. Never getting any more cool skateboarding games. We were never going to get those anyway. There's a chance. <laughs> sure, but now there's no, absolutely <laughs> no chance, no correct? there's no more cool eyeball. And yeah. Was, that's gone. That's the worst part about this is you want to see that eyeball get and stuck get, in those And those... Uh, Cool people who made cool games might not have to work on Call of Duty now. Yeah, they've been working on Call of Duty for years. Yeah, they've been working on it, but now they can only work on Call of Duty unless they leave. Yeah, I think Infinity Ward probably for a long time will be strictly Call of Duty. Um, No, definitely. I do like that Call of Duty's gone on a three-year development cycle for each studio that they have, each super studio. That that this team Infinity Ward will have three years to make the next Call of Duty game. I think that's a good thing. But it does suck that other studios have to be pulled in all, what is, all over keep, Activision. Just, just the do. third one again. Uh, so there's Sledgehammer, Infinity Ward, and Treyarch. Treyarch, Treyarch. 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 Yeah. 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 Uh, so uh, that should be it. That's all. That's all our news for this week. We did it. Woo. <laughs> we had a, a real rapid round. We got through it. I feel good. I'm sweating. Time for comments. Time for comments. I know. Time for all the corrections and everything. Um, before we go, we have to make our, our big bet for this week. Oh. Uh, Borderlands 2 for the PlayStation Vita is coming out. Question is, the, the bet, how many reviews will a game receive on the PlayStation Store? So you know how they, they'll they have, like, the number... PlayStation of, Store? On the PlayStation Vita Store, they'll have, like, a bunch of stars and then a little pr- number in parentheses next to the stars. And that's honestly, like... Before next Thursday? Uh, yeah, before our next week's show. Okay. It'll launch on Tuesday, I believe. Brandon? I'm not going first this time. Okay, so Brandon's going last this time. That means I go first, doesn't it? Okay, so uh, my bet is uh, only 58 is my bet. 58 people will review that game. 71. Okay. 16. Great bet. 50. Why would you do That's so close to mine. Because <laughs> I want to win this one, damn it. Okay, I'm so in it to win it. we're locked the in. Are on. Lock them in. Um, we should cover last week's bet, which was, man, in hindsight, it seems ridiculous. It was how many times would they use the word drama within the Call of Duty reveal? Because I had a whole different impression of what the <laughs> Call of Duty reveal was going to be. How often do they say, hey, everybody, at this particular time, on 10 a.m. on Sunday, we're going to show a trailer? Nobody does that, and they did. That was, it was just a trailer. A good trailer, but not a reveal event at all. Uh, they, the word drama was used zero times in that trailer. Though they did stress drama. I feel like I was on to something a little bit there. <laughs> They're like, hey, here's okay. here's Kevin Spacey. I mean, that was, being that was very dramatic. Yeah. How, how's the cards, Kevin Spacey, without the drawl and mm-hmm. drama didn't come up? Yeah, all. it's kind of surprising. Yeah, there was drama, not but, f- but not the word drama. Which should have bet how many times would he break the floor, fourth wall? <laughs> Still would have been zero. Yeah. You know, it's based off King Lear, I guess, when he breaks the fourth wall. Forget about it. Uh, I anyway, that, I know what that is. My what? brother's in King Lear right now. Old actually, McDonald's. he's what? My brother is in King Lear right now. What is he doing? Uh, it's actually a – they're reversing the sexes in the show. So King Lear is a woman, uh-huh. and it's all about his three daughters. And so the woman has three sons, and my okay. uh, my brother's one of those sons. Does he get murdered? Uh, I don't know. I don't know King Lear. i got to see uh, I gotta see King Lear. Where does he do it? Where does he show uh, it? At the uh, Theatricum Botanicum in Topanga Canyon Plug in Plug it right California. now. Can people go see that? <laughs> yeah, yeah. It's in uh, – I don't know when it starts. But uh, uh, if you haven't been to Topanga Canyon, it's beautiful. I've never it's just, been, no. It's just north of L.A. Nice drive. You drive up in the mountains, and all of a sudden you're like, whoa, where am I? You know. Mm-hmm. Uh, all the hippies are up there and super rich people that own lots of land. Uh, and uh, right. if you just follow the main road that goes through Topanga, you will pass the Theatricum Botanicum. And it is uh, it was um, uh, created by Will Guthrie. And um, it's a beautiful theater. It's built right into the mountain. And um, it's a, yeah. It's you a can see King Brandon Rand. Jones's brother yep. acting. 
That's pretty exciting. Doing some uh, Shakespeare. Sorry, last question before we, we close completely. Topanga from Boy Meets World, based off Topanga Canyon, where yes. all the hippies live? Probably, Obviously. yeah. That's really interesting. Yeah, never thought about that. Because <laughs> her character at first was a little hippie, and like she, she wasn't meant to be liked, and then eventually she just became a girlfriend, and like that was her role in the show. You know what? Was She's that? back. She's back on television. Wait, Girl, is that show? Is Girl Meets World on? Girl Meets World. Well, I don't know if it started yet, but... You yeah. know the date? In June. In June. We're going to have a live viewing. We're going to live stream watching You get all the news live. from this show. <laughs> yeah. I can't what wait Shakespeare's to watch that. playing locally? Um, so anyway, sorry. Uh, back to Call of Duty. Uh, Kevin Spacey said the word drama zero times, which means that Michael Damiani won our bet from last week. That's, a, he's, that's two in a row. The sh- our sheriff won the bet. So uh, you have now earned the right to plug a video, uh, any video you want, and you can close us out and have the final word of the, the episode. Awesome. So I'm going to take less than two minutes this time because okay, Kyle you. gets angry when we take that long. I think at this point uh, we have a Mario – this okay, this would be fun. Uh, we posted a Mario Kart video on Thursday which shows you how, how you get the gold parts, the gold wheels and the gold body. So go watch that because I believe we post that before Game Explain. So we finally we finally beat Game Explain at something. Even though I still haven't beat Games Radar's best time on the first course in the time trial because they have a, a better frame for the top speed or whatever. They have a better frame than they the gold one? They have some cool, one? like, I actually haven't tried the gold one on the money. But they have one that I haven't unlocked yet. It's from Coins. Cool. So it's pretty cool. So check that out and support the the hard work of the GT staff here who bust their butts to unlock cool stuff for you. <laughs> and sure. uh, follow all of us on Twitter. Our Twitter names are appearing, handles are appearing all around us right now. And thank you for watching. We'll be back next Friday. And take it easy. Oh, 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 oh,